hey y'all welcome to my channel welcome to another video we're doing to get ready with me today okay i'm excited because i'm going to go celebrate my girl's birthday but i wanted to get really cute and i just wanted to film the process because i haven't done a get ready with me in so long and i feel like my look is given the makeup came out bomb the hair came out bomb the fragrance y'all just wait on it oh my god i love it <laughs> I love it here. So yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, and turn your post notifications on so you never miss an upload, okay? And make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I be posting little things, you know what I'm saying. So make sure y'all follow me over there and let's get into the video. Actually, real quick, I need to give y'all this good tea. So, your girl has been stressed out. She has been overwhelmed. She's been having a rough couple past weeks. And you know what? I said, you need to go treat yourself, okay? So I took me a little stroll down to Nordstrom. Y'all know why I go to Nordstrom, right? If you know, then you know. I go there to get my fragrances. So I got some new ones that I'm going to be wearing for this look, actually. So stay tuned to see which one I pick. But I want y'all to comment down below which one is your favorite if you tried them. If you want to try it, which one you think goes best with this vibe, this look. Let your girl know down below. But let's get into the ones that I picked up. So the real tea is... I picked up recommendations that y'all recommended your girl. So I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts and I must say, y'all got good taste. All right, the first one I dove into a cult classic. Like literally everyone loves this. YSO Black Opium. Where have I been? Like somebody tell me where I've been. Under a rock, obviously, because I've never tried this. I'm obsessed. And I smelled this. I was like, I get it. I understand. Like y'all don't even have to explain further. This is the one. The top note is coffee. The middle notes are white flower. And then the base note is vanilla, which is one of my favorites. But the coffee just does something to me. It's very sweet. It's seductive. It's very date night. You could wear this, I think, on a summer night if you mix this with maybe something more aquatic or lemony. Like drown yourself in the fresh scent and then one spray of this to deepen it down. Oh my God, if y'all don't layer your scents, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to start layering them scents, okay? <laughs> I feel like everyone had this, so maybe that's why I shied away from it. But now that I know the art of layering scents, I can get it. Still smell good, but still smell different. The next one, y'all, again, I get it. You don't even have to explain anymore because I got it. I love it. I'm obsessed. I don't know where I was this entire time. As soon as I smelled it in the store and tested it out, she sprayed it on my wrist. The way it transformed immediately and throughout the day, I was like, I got FOMO. And then I went to the store, got rid of that FOMO and bought it. Okay. This is MFK Gentle Fluidity. I know y'all know the tea on her she's bomb the notes on this is juniper berry nutmeg coriander musk ambery woods and vanilla i totally get the musk in it that's why i feel like it pairs so well with your bare skin the vanilla y'all know i love me a good vanilla the juniper berries just kind of brightens it up i feel like once you move around and it starts to like release little bursts of the juniper berry like this bad boy right here sits on you for a long time really quick i do feel like that is a more mature vanilla like the little hints of powder to me mature the vanilla out and it's not so childish and candy ish and i think that's what i love about it it's very grown very sexy i do think it's more of a daytime scent and you could also layer with the black opium to deepen it for the nighttime next up we have valentino's born in roma intense though also ignore the sun she's doing weird things so it looks really dark in here but we still gonna get into this the top note on this is vanilla the middle note is jasmine and then the base note is benzoin which i've never heard of when i googled it it's pretty much like a warm vanilla -y type of scent so this is very it has hints of floral to me, but it is a warmer floral. Now, what really got me with this fragrance is I get hints of coconut for some reason. And when you smell coconut in a fragrance, you kind of smell it and you're like, what is that? And then when someone says coconut, you're like, oh, okay. Like it really just transforms fragrances. And I feel like this is such a well-rounded fragrance that you can wear in the daytime, in the nighttime. It's Slightly decadent, but also fresh as well, which I feel like you can wear in different settings, different seasons. Long story short, y'all got your girl all the way together. Okay, I love every single last one of them. They all smell so different. So I'm excited to add them to my collection and see how they, 
you know, see how they get along with the other girls. <laughs> if y'all are interested in any of them, I will link them down below so you can shop them directly at Nordstrom. They also have a tool on their website to find it in the store to make sure that your Nordstrom has it because I know fragrances sometimes you can be kind of scared to blind buy them because you never know. So yeah, go in there, test them out. I promise you, you're gonna love those. Those are three solid fragrances. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the actual get ready with me and y'all gonna see which one I chose to wear with this fit. All right, we're getting ready. My hair is straight, I just straightened it. Um, like wash, straightened it, all of that good stuff. Been using the Shark Flex style and it has all these different attachments. Like it has a curling attachment, a little brush one. A little like concentrator y'all know if you catch my drift what is this what is this giving right so i'm trying it out and i'm trying to use this thing because i'm really trying to get like a nice i guess you could say very flawless curl but i think i'm using it wrong so let's just try it out again on camera because i've been struggling off camera to try to figure out what the heck i'm doing let me put this one back on because we are trying to curl this hair don't get me wrong i like it but i think i'm just it's a learning curve of course it comes out good when i cut the camera on Or maybe once I get the hang of it more, it'll be quicker. I might have to bust out the curling iron just to knock it out because <laughs> this is not doing it fast enough for me only because I'm just sitting here trying to like really understand it, you know? So yeah, I kind of like this. This is what it looks like without the attachments or anything. It's good. Like I said, dried my hair real fast, had it real sleek and shiny. I love it. Um, I just need to really figure out how to use it. <laughs> So I'm going to sit down and teach myself how to use it and then I'll come back and let y'all know. Since we are running out of time... We gotta do the quickest way we know, which is just throwing a curling iron on it. I'm gonna use my T3. This looks so good though. Look at that. I might be on to something with that thing. Just giving up so quick. But I got places to be, so it's okay. We're gonna try it again soon. I'll probably film it and like put it on Instagram or something like that. I like with this though, I can take pretty big sections. And as you can see, I'm leaving the ends out. I did like a little curling tutorial on TikTok. If you wanna follow your own TikTok, um, I put my basically like how i get these effortless waves and as you can see i'm already done with half of my head already i'm excited to go celebrate my girl's birthday with her the dinner is going to be so cute she gave me like a little behind the scenes yesterday because i went over there and helped her with her hair like the room is really cute it's like a nice private room oh my gosh she has like table decorations little place cars i can't wait and my outfit is of course going to match the vibes so Y'all will see once I put it on and everything. Okay, hair is done. That was quick. Like I said, I'm just going to leave it. And again, I don't want like curls curls. So that's why it doesn't really look like curls almost. And once I rake it out, it's just going to become like nice waves. Let's do our makeup. Okay, I got some friends right here. So we're going to cover them right on up. Y'all, fashion week. I ate like it was nobody's business. I was just eating any and everything, didn't care about no diet or nothing. So those are my consequences, one and two. And I'm gonna use my NARS Light Reflecting in the shade Vanitu. But yeah, for fashion week, I was literally just eating whatever I wanted, no consequences, just having the time of my life. I had like pasta, chow, I had everything, okay? I was just going in, just eating everything. I had sweets, like, I was just not caring so once i got back consequence one and two popped up and you know it's okay it's all right and now that i'm back it's back to reality because y'all know your girl is about to move and i'm literally in the midst of packing right now like y'all can't see it but there's boxes like there's just everything so yeah that'll be some of the next content that's coming up and I'm so excited because it's taking me back to my first moving vlog where I really felt like my channel just kind of popped off and I really started to grow and gain a lot of you guys. Like I know a lot of y'all have followed me since my moving vlogs. I feel like I kind of want to go a little, hmm, what do I want to do? Do I want to go a little lighter on the concealer? I think I'm a chill. I think, yeah, I think I'm a chill. <laughs> Only because I know that this makeup performs well. Um... For pictures and i ain't trying to really switch it up right now knowing that i really try to i really want to try to um 
get a picture because she's gonna have even a photographer there i said oh girl this is a birthday dinner okay i totally forgot i wanted to take my lash extensions off and just put on a strip lash because i felt like they weren't full enough they kind of look crazy and just set that under eye real good okay and then i'm gonna take a tiny 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 bit and just set these so that anything that is like on top of it does not move and another thing i've been doing is setting my eyebrows too because they get a little oily i don't know it's been happening recently so we just roll with the punches i don't know who i was watching but i saw somebody like putting their bronzer on like blush and it looks so good so i kind of been doing that and then hitting the apples on my cheeks with it just so that you could see it from the front i think that's probably why i was feeling it so much and then once you put your blush on in the same area i feel like it just mixes so well see i started messing with my hair and now it's barely even <laughs> this is why you gotta wait to be patient girl like dang let me get dressed i'm gonna wear the set from zara i'm gonna show y'all it on really quick but i'm gonna film a like get dressed with me for tiktok so hold please i almost put like a little false lash right here but i think we'll be okay <laughs> just nobody get too close okay y'all getting dressed i have this set from zara that i have literally been stalking trying to find um, the bodysuit is from wolford this is the jacket which i'm gonna show y'all why i love this as soon as i zip her up but i love the color like i don't have any really like cute but casual sets and that's the vibe for tonight erin said dress cute but casual so as you can see the jacket kind of like comes inward and i love that because since it's like an oversized fit i don't want it to swallow me so i just have it zipped up just a tiny bit so you know because show a little something, something i have my idol necklace on just the regular like diamond pendant I wear these white mules from pretty little thing they're not too high either so they should be comfortable the only thing is i feel like my feet really be sliding to the front in these so <laughs> we gonna have to figure it out they be looking a little crazy i'm not gonna admit but it's okay because we're gonna be sitting down majority of the time but i'm also wearing my white shark moose bag and i'm gonna leave the strap on because i feel like it adds a little casual vibe so yeah that is the fit and then of course her fragrance since we're probably gonna go into the night i kind of wanted to wear the black opium just because y'all i just can't get over oh i just can't get over this smell it smells so good again these will be linked down below but since i'm low-key pressed for gentle fluidity and i just feel like it smells very grown and sophisticated and the vibe of the room that she showed me it looked grown and sophisticated okay and we are turning 28 today not me but my girl so i feel like this one might be more fitting i'm gonna moisturize really quick with the osea body oil i'll link this down below i actually got this from nordstrom too y'all literally get everything from nordstrom and of course this is so your fragrance sticks to you really nicely lasts for a while because on dry skin i found that your fragrance really doesn't last that long and there's the fit i'm gonna throw on my shoes when i get there okay we wear uggs on the way there and then throw our shoes on as soon as we get there let's go let's go celebrate my girl oh and this food better be good too okay because your girl's hungry we just arrived i'm with the girls hey, hey. so we just parked we got a good spot too Great. i'm the good luck charm when it comes to parking Girl, <laughs> um but yeah we about to walk up there now it's called tagliata right <laughs> Y'all know how to pronounce it. I would have said Telgata. Yeah, I thought that's the same Telgata. Is it Telgata or Tagliata? Oh. I think it's like Tagliata, but I'm going to say Telgata. I'm just pronouncing it how it's spelled. <laughs> anyway, we want, we're walking into the restaurant now, so we will see y'all inside. Sometimes, 
Thanksgiving. What is it? Is it good? Olivia. But still, she's zooming this thing. Maybe it was that bitch trying. I'm about to be like holding my seatbelt. <laughs> my joint about to be locked. Where I swear to you, this other time he pulled up right beside me, and I know he looked at me, but I wasn't looking at him. So then he like this light turned green. I said, I know he about to like try. What I do? Oh baby, was right there with him. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And his little thing was about to break down. <laughs> I'm never brought it with her again. <laughs> We're back. I had a great time. I smell so good. Okay, make sure y'all check out the fragrance recommendations down below. And yes, happy birthday to my girl. I'm so in love with her birthday celebration. It was beautiful, it was so smooth. So many loved ones there, like so many good friends and like everything, it was just everything. She did her thing with that one. And I'm so proud of her, so happy for her. I also went to this little speakeasy after, which was so cute. If you end up going to Tagliata, I think it's called, ask them about the speakeasy because the vibes are so cute in there, like very Instagram worthy. Definitely check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I will see y'all in my next one. Peace.